Now, if you've been watching my channel for some time now, you probably know that I like German Bajas minimalist style watches. And a brand particularly that's usually one that I mention quite frequently is uh, Junghans. And I, I mean, it's in my intro every single time, my Maxbo Chronoscope. However, we have a watch here that I think for those that might be a little bit fatigued with the Maxbill automatic mentions and that design style, something that could be a good alternative for those looking to get into this style of watches, and that is the Junghans Form A. So let's jump into this review. So the Junghans Form A is a different interpretation of Baja's design principles executed by the brand. It shares many of the same endearing qualities of that of other lines from the brand's catalog, but with some differences that even with the minimalist design are still enough to make it rather unique. So first, let's watch at a glance. We're looking at a case size of 39.3 millimeters, case thickness of 9.5 millimeters, lug to lug we're looking at 44 millimeters, lug width 21 millimeters, water resistance of 50 meters, movement is a J8002. That's an ETA 28242 base caliber. Crystal, we're looking at a sapphire crystal here, and then a price of $1,195 retail. The same price at retail as the Junghans Maxbill Automatic with a bracelet. So when looking at this particular model, it's a watch with an anthracite dial, lack of numerals, and a date. That I think out of all the Forme three-hand models is the most unique. This considered, it might not lead to a unanimous round of applause, but, but with these style of watches, that's usually the case regardless. The watch, similar to my Maxbo Chronoscope that I have in my collection, has a dial that varies greatly depending on the light. Like the Maxbo Silver dial that turns matte white in proper light, this watch turns a shadowy charcoal when looked at straight on in better light. A feature that is only furthered by its unique concave style dial, essentially creating the opposite effect of the Maxbo with its dome crystal and dial that looks to be jumping out at you rather than pulling you in like this one. I find this concave style as well as that vivid charcoal color plays off to match that three o'clock date window that has beveling on its outskirts. I think this style of date window makes it look a little bit more sleek, but can't help to think that it might look better without it. On the dial, the watch features slim lines to mark the hours, a style that I prefer compared to that of the numerals for this particular model, especially when considering the presence of that date window. At the outside of the dial, we are greeted with slim white numerals that mark the every five minutes and small indentations marking the every other minute. At the 12 o'clock, we have the Young Hands logo mark, matching the numeral hour markings on the watch. Inside the hands of the watch, we have a bit of loom. And like many other watches from the brand and my Maxwell Chronoscope, this really isn't gonna lead to a lot of functionality given it's just the thin hands themselves and the amount of loom that's there, but it is nice to have. Now for the case here, we have one that is 39.3 millimeters and with a very thin bezel, a common attribute of Junghans watches, which give off an illusion of a larger dial when worn on the wrist. I get that a lot when I post pictures of a Maxbo Chronoscope, that the watch on the wrist looks much larger than the shade under 43 millimeters lug to lug that it is. This form A model with slightly smaller case diameter actually wears a bit larger with its lugs, bringing it to 44 millimeters lug to lug. The watch wears very well on the wrist though regardless, especially with its rather slim profile with its longer but slanted lugs that tuck really well under the dial. The watch comes with a stretching metal style bracelet that fits the Germanic style and might not be the worst decision to keep on. It's not a bracelet that's gonna blow you away, but considering the lug width of 21 millimeters, you can squeeze a 22 millimeter strap in here. I did for a little bit, but the majority of the time I had with this watch, I kept it on the bracelet. The watch features a similar crown with thin rivets, very similar to that of other watches from the brand. However, when flipping the watch over, we do get a bit of unique style case back with a slightly transparent case back displaying an ETA based movement with a grayed out finish. A touch of the watch that I actually have not seen on many watches but I think it fits this model particularly well as I think it shows a glimpse at the movement for those that might not be used to seeing fully exposed mechanical movements, but doesn't dwell on the movement so much trying to oversell it for what it is. In addition, this gray tinted case back also plays off the dial color very well. The specific movement inside this watch, as mentioned earlier, is an ETA 28242 based movement, movement clocking in with four hertz, 28,800 vibrations per hour, and a power reserve of 38 hours. So when looking at this watch, we have a watch here that I think does more things similar than different to other Junghans watches. And I see it more as serving as an alternative to what is already being served than venturing into uncharted territory for the brand. But that's not a bad thing. This consider, I think it does offer a watch that is a little bit less delicate in terms of the other watches that I have featured from Junghans on the channel before with that Sapphire Crystal. I think overall construction, I think wears a little bit more sporty. 
but is also a great option for everyday wear and for somebody that's looking for that minimalist style of design. And ultimately, I see this line being one that offers something a bit different than say the Meister line or the Max Bill line can offer, which have many contrasting design cues when compared. So ultimately a watch to consider for those looking for a Baja style watch that maybe doesn't want to go down the Max Bill route and have become a little bit exhausted of that mention, but want a minimalist style automatic from a brand that does it practically better than anybody in the price range. All right guys, so what do you think of this watch? I think I still kind of prefer the white dial variation of this watch compared to that of this anthracite dial. But I'd love to see what you guys think. I, I feel like a lot of people like Jung Hans now because I've just talked about them quite a bit on the channel. So I'd love to see comments down below about what you think of this watch uh, in comparison to other models that maybe you're familiar with from the brand. Also, if you want me to do more reviews, guys, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Also, if you want to support the channel and what we're doing here, go over to our website, buy a watch strap, buy a couple watch straps while you're there maybe. And that's probably the best way to support us as well as going to the link in the description. Using that link in the description to go to Bob's Watches, if you purchase anything using that link, you can support us, what we're doing here. And then finally, if you want to join our watch giveaway, fill out the watch giveaway form down below and then also follow me on Instagram. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. I always appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon.